Welcome to race 16 of the 2012-2013 Hart Truck Series season. Starting first is Spencer Fullerton. Second, Alex Tanker. Third, Mason Wood. Then it's Gary Tang. Stephen Henhock, Andreas Allen. Jolene Butterworth, Austin Talley. Uh, Brody Talley, Jacob Young. Aaron Mason, Chris Dollerton. Ilya Bondarenko, Sean, Shauna Weidman, Mason Wood, oh, Dylan Shutters, D Dylan Matichuk, Jessica Lawrence, James O'Shea, Connor Breton, Emmett Vanson, Jeremiah Almighty, Abby Churchill, Demir Bejianov, Peter Saviano, Nathan Gibson, William Duncan, and Adam Gibson. This is will be a 15 lapper here at Green Valley Ring in Norway. This is a 4.3 mile track. It's a road course, but uh, as you can see by the banking in this turn, it acts like a super speedway. Uh, this, the tur banking in this specific turn reaches as high as 41 degrees in some sections. Anyway, Spencer Fullerton uh, leads down into turn two now. This is one of the few small braking zones there are on this track, and we're already three wide through most of the fields. Stephen Henhock helping Spencer Fullerton quite a bit here. Uh, St now Stephen Henhock goes to the inside. Everyone's too wide for now, but uh, now they come into the last turn on the track, which is uh, half asphalt, uh, uh, sorry, asphalt, as half um, concrete. And we're three wide, four wide now. Spencer Fullerton getting shuffled. And now they go around the final turn. Dylan Shutters started 14th and he's battling for the lead right now. And now they go down an enormous hill. That hill, as you can see, the car is coming down in the background. Stephen Henhawk, who started 4th, is up to 200 miles an hour. They're four wide in the back, and he will lead that lap. Oh, and we've got a big crash. James O'Shea's upside down. Oh, my God. James O'Shea, huge barrel roll. Nathan Gibson upside down as well. Ilya Bonarenko involved. And James O'Shea comes to rest on his side. They will continue around. As uh, the caution didn't come out until uh, after they crossed the line there. They barely crossed the line, and then that enormous crash happened. We'll go back and take a look at uh, the crash that claimed uh, James O'Shea and um, Ilya Bondarenko and Nathan Gibson in a second. Meanwhile, we're three wide for the lead. Dylan Matichuk up into the lead now. Four wide behind them for third. This track is super wide. So, makes for some great racing action. Unfortunately, some big crashes. And it looks like Dylan Matichuk will uh, lead the lap. Meanwhile, they are four wide behind them. Doesn't look like we're going to have another enormous pile up. They bump and they nudge and now they're under caution. Let's go and take a look at what happened to James O'Shea. I, I saw him flipping wildly. Already sideways when he crossed the line there. So he gets put head on into the wall at 177 miles an hour and all three cars got airborne. And James O'Shea and Nathan Gibson start taking a wild ride. I'll take a look at Nathan Gibson's ride in a second. Just flipping many, many, many times down into turn one. Let's go on, let's uh, see Nathan Gibson's. Uh, accident. He also flipped many, many times. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh man, just unbelievable. Some of the biggest crashes of the season, I'd say. Let's go on board with James O'Shea. And um, see what he saw during this. Unbelievable. I'll have the exact amount, uh, number of flips in the description if you're interested. Actually, no, because that, uh, that will be a spoiler. Never mind. I'll have the exact number of flips for the next race. Like, I'll tell you that. Well, we're under caution on lap three here. Ilya Bonarenko's gone out of the race, obviously. And Nathan Gibson and James O'Shea, I assume, both will also both go out of the race. Anyway, let's continue on and skip the caution. Pace cars going off. And there's the green flag. Sorry that I missed the exact moment of restart. Uh, Dylan Matichuk leads into turn one. Jessica Lawrence and Jacob Young battling for second. You can see just how steep that is banked from that angle. No one else has damage. Chris Dollerton is quite a bit off the base for some reason. Maybe a mechanical problem. Anyway, uh, the laps are so long here that it really won't matter. Three wide behind them for third. Uh, sorry, fourth. Andreas Allen trying to past Jacob Young, but he has no drafting help, so that won't really work. Jacob Young remaining behind Dylan Matishuk here. Three wide behind them for a third as they desperately try to catch up, which they will probably do. Jacob Young gonna pull out, doesn't look like he is. But meanwhile, I think they're four wide back in the field a little bit and they will continue to get away until Jacob Young decides to make a move of some kind Andreas Allen will break up that drafting duel perhaps yes he will and now he moves in a second and the pack will almost and uh, definitely catch back up relatively shortly as they continue to battle for second. Now Jacob Young falls back and is uh, right now getting passed by Mason Wood and Austin Talley. You'll hear a noise in a minute. It's just my parents coming in. Told them I've been doing I was doing this today, so I shouldn't make too much of a racket. Anyway, Andreas Allen uh, makes a pass into second. And they battle continue to battle back in the field. Three and four wide. Andreas Allen Leads, Dylan Matichuk into second, I think. Yeah, now he tries to go for the pass. Allow everyone to catch up. Dylan Matichuk 
leads. Mason Wood now passing to the inside. It's a good thing no one makes it uh, has made try to make it four wide through that section. That's another quite dangerous section on this track. Mason Wood and Jolene Butterworth have uh, opened up a bit of a gap on the rest of the field. But um, Jolene pulls alongside Mason, so here comes the pack again. Are you, uh, are you uh, exercising? Dylan Matichuk passes to the inside. Coming to just six laps to go, but it's a short race anyway, so it's still quite of racing time left. No four, they uh, looked like they were going to make it four wide there down the hill, but they didn't. Mason Wood and Dylan Matichuk seem to have uh, teamed up to try to escape the rest of the field. Three and four wide behind. I was very lucky. I saw four wide back there, but no one really made major contact. Here comes Andreas Allen back up in the third. He's a, he has a quite strong car today, obviously. Last time he was in Norway, he was doing barrel rolls uh, down the front stretch, so this is quite an improvement for him. Now Mason Wood goes to the inside of Dylan Matichuk. He wants to lead a lap. I think he already has, but whatever. Dylan Matichuk with no drafting help. Now Andreas Allen makes it three wide for the lead. And that'll give the pack a giant boost up. Oh, now Dylan Matichuk helping Mason Wood once again, and uh, Stephen Henhock falls in line with Andreas Allen. Oh, now uh, Mason Wood leaves Dylan Matichuk out to dry, but now he, oh, okay, now he's, he's just switching lanes, probably just holding a protective line there. Meanwhile, Stephen Henhock making it three wide around uh, both Andreas Allen and Mason Wood, and into the lead, we have just five laps to go. go back and take a look at some of the cars who aren't having such a great day. Chris Dollerton has uh, lost the draft. I think he had to come in for a pit stop right before the uh, they went back to green. Peter Saviano off the pace. And everyone else is basically in that big pack. Oh, Jessica Lawrence has just blown a motor. And that should split up the pack a little bit. Hopefully she'll make it around and won't be in the other driver's way. She's really slowing down. And she will come to a stop. I think that's off the racing line though. Let's go back up to the lead draft. Which, uh, Stephen Hennock's, oh, uh, there's been a caution, I guess. Jessica Lawrence has brought out the caution with four laps to go, that which means Stephen Hennock, I think, has just won the race. That's kind of disappointing. That's, uh... Let's go and take a look at Steven's pass for the win. Well, he kind of led the entire last bit of the lap there. Let's 
get the rest of the caution. And uh, the race will end under caution, so our uh, race winner will be Stephen Henhawk. And second will be Jeremiah Almighty. Third will be Jolene Butterworth. Fourth will be Andreas Allen. Fifth will be Jacob Young. In sixth will be Evan Vanson. Seventh will be Shauna Weidman. And eighth will be Connor Breton. Jessica Lawrence is back out on the track. Thought she had a blown motor. Austin Talley is blown a motor though. Did he crash or let's see what happened here? Yeah, it looks like he just blew a motor. So there's your final results. Uh, I think that will be like our sixth uh, race that ended under caution. Let's take a look at uh, pretty much the one major highlight of this race, and that was the enormous crash between some of the uh, uh, between James O'Shea, Nathan Gibson, and Ilya Bondarenko. I think I have some extra time, so let's actually count the rolls. Okay, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, about 15 and a quarter. And let's see, Nathan Gibson's number of balls. One. Two. What a way to start. Uh, in his fifth race, that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. How about that? Exact same number. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Race 17 will be at uh, in Brampton, Ontario, at the Pigs Creek Super Speedway. Thanks for watching.